Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's question comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson 11 of the Biology 2 module. Be sure to hit pause and try this question on your own before watching my explanation. Now, this question is interesting because it requires us to have some content knowledge about both the muscular system and the muscles in the body, as well as the male reproductive system. So to start off, it makes reference to the epididymis. Now, the epididymis, it kind of, a good way to think about it is it's almost like a backpack to the testes, right? So the testes are where the sperm are made, and the epididymis essentially sits around it like this, almost like a little backpack. It's this crescent moon shape right here. And the sperm travels through the epididymis to get to the deferens here and eventually continues on its journey. So that's what the epididymis is. It's that little tube, it's very convoluted, sperm are moving through it. Now for the second thing that's going to be important in this question, we need to talk about muscles. And there's several different types of muscle in the body. There's skeletal muscle and skeletal muscle is what we do for voluntary movements. So like biceps, arms, legs, all these things that I think and they move my fingers, my hands, that's skeletal muscle. And skeletal muscle is going to be striated. In other words, this is going to be a horribly drawn muscle, but it's going to have these striations, almost like these stripes. And you can picture that. If you ever, if you picture in your head what a muscle looks like, you're probably picturing skeletal muscle. Now, smooth muscle, on the other hand, is another type. Smooth muscle does not have those striations. And smooth muscle is used for involuntary movement. So a great example would be, for example, the GI tract or the sperm moving through here, that would be a great example of smooth muscle, involuntary movement. It would seem kind of silly to think of me like sitting here and thinking my food through my intestine. And in a similar way, the, the movement of sperm here is involuntary. We're not sitting here thinking about it. And so that's gonna be a great example of smooth muscle as well. The third uh, type of muscle that you should know is cardiac muscle. We're not gonna get super deep into this in this question because we don't need it to break apart this question, but that's the third type of muscle that would be good to know. Now that we have this background knowledge, let's go ahead and tackle the question. Great, so in this question, we're talking about a certain kind of disease, it's an autoimmune disease, and it involves dysfunction of the neuromuscular junction. So that's essentially where the nerve interacts with the muscle. And it primarily affects striated muscles. Well, that should set off some bells in our head right here because we know if a muscle is striated, it's going to be skeletal muscle, not smooth muscle. So the question then is, how will this disease disturb movement of the sperm through the epididymis? This first option here, sperm movement will speed up due to increased neuromuscular signaling. Well, we know that's just wrong because any kind of muscle that myasthenia gravis is going to affect, it's going to um, cause dysfunction of the neuromuscular junction. So it's not going to speed up. That's definitely not going to be the case. No effect because sperm is pulled by gravity. Well, that's tempting, but remember, the sperm, of course, isn't pulled by gravity. It's squeezed and pushed by these smooth muscles. You saw how convoluted that epididymis is. Gravity would not be able to get everything where it needed to go. There's just too many directions happening there. So this is also going to be incorrect. The next option, sperm movement will stop because the necessary muscles will be paralyzed. That would be true if this was skeletal muscle, but remember the epididymis, we're dealing with smooth muscle in this situation. So this will also be incorrect, which leaves us with our final option, the correct answer, no effect because the muscle surrounding the epididymis is not striated. Let's go ahead and check it out. Perfect, awesome. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at mcatselfprep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.